Diamond and Nick to the to the desk after a 3-1 victory there, securing your spot back into the LCS. Diamond, how does that feel? It feels great. I don't know, I'm not satisfied with my place in those games because I made too much mistakes, in my opinion, but it's really <laughs> great to feel it like you're in a LCS again. I love LCS. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And Nick, my question to you more specifically is about the fact that you guys did start down 0-1 in the series. So what were, what were the discussions like within the team to kind of get the morale back and turn it around to go on a great 3-0 streak after that? We knew that we are a better team, so we just realized our mistakes, pointed them out, tried to like get the actually ban Oriana from our enemies because it's super safe champion and keep going as a better team. And then Diamond, given that the team went through a lot of roster changes throughout the season, you know, how did that affect your ability to to coordinate with your teammates to get to this point where you guys were comfortable with, with working as a team, showcasing that you are of LCS caliber and you do deserve to have that spot? It was really hard to change teammates that often because like you have some uh, some strategies with your current teammates and then the teammate changes and you need to work even more uh, to get used to the new teammates. But we worked out like really, really much. We were uh, practicing the whole, like more than a month after we got, uh, we got, we lost like our matches in the LCS. And uh, now we're pretty strong. We show that we're, we were uh, to be in the LCS, and now we're ready to get our, like, maybe first or second s spot in the next split. I like to hear that. Nick, you specifically, to look at your champion pool, you seem to favor the Assassins, playing Zed twice, Ari, and Yasuo. So what is it about that? Because we do have a lot of mid laners who will fall onto Orianna and Ziggs and the more farm-heavy champions. What is it about Assassins that you like so much? Like, I think uh, Assassins are just very strong in this meta game because they are making you under the, like, enemy under the pressure that every time he does mistake, he can get insta-killed. And it is very good just for the LAN games, I think. And for the regular LCS, it's not so good. Uh, I press his line. I specifically try to get the Assassins here. And you mentioned the meta, Diamond. In that first game, you guys saw the Fizz jungle get picked. Is that something that you expected him to pick up? And then and then how, how did that affect the first game? And then he even picked it up a second time. Uh, well, I knew that it was like about to come when they picked it. I was like thinking about is it meat or is it jungle? Because my teammates say that he can't play jungle fish and he played it a lot, but I didn't trust them because like uh, why the hell would someone play this jungle? But it worked out for him pretty good because I didn't know his uh, the limits of this, and I didn't know that uh, that I can just move everywhere and take fights with him, and I will be stronger. But after that match, I realized that, and and in the second game, like there was no chance for Fizz to win. I was about to say, you seemed to react to it pretty well when he brought it out the second time. You guys were able to counter it quite easily. Now let's look ahead to next year's split. Nick, what are the changes that you're looking to make within the team? How are you hoping to grow, like specifically? I think uh, right now we are at the better, like uh, better team skill-wise than we have ever before been this split. So we should just keep uh, as it is and train even more. And then Diamond, finally, as this has been a long 2014 season and it's finally coming to a close, I want to give you the opportunity to say anything to your fans and the viewers at home and things like that. Okay, guys, thank you very much for cheering for us. Sorry for disappointing you with such like bad results, in my opinion. But at least we got back to the LCS, as you wished. And we were trying our best, really, for the past month and a half. And now we're going to work much harder because we know our mistakes that we didn't practice that much in the previous LCS season. We will fix them. We will come out stronger and I hope we will, we will beat anyone, everyone in the, LCS, in the new LCS. But right now, guys, I wish you like a good world championship. Watch it, uh, cheer for someone. I don't know why I will do it as well. I will cheer for Europeans, of course. And thank you very much, especially fans. 
looking to improve. That's all anyone can ask. Well, gentlemen, I want to congratulate you again on your victory here and requalifying for the LCS. We are going to send it back over to Freak and Zyrene, though.